Hello, my amazing art students. I hope everybody's doing well. We're doing fine. You can see my hair is longer. It's going rogue. Um, but we're all safe and okay here. Uh, my daughter actually was sick for about three weeks. We're pretty sure she had coronavirus, but we won't know probably ever. Um, but she's all better now and she's back to work. So what we're going to do today, I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a cootie catcher. Um, because I did promise you guys origami in April. We didn't get to do that. I made a whole bunch of cranes for our um, thousand crane project that probably won't be happening this school year. So I'm just going to save them for the fall. But for right now, since probably most of you don't have origami paper at home, um, we're just going to make a cootie catcher with your basic lined paper. All right, so this is my little notebook that I've been using for meetings and all other kind of stuff. And uh, I'm sure you all have some of this at home. So I've taken the piece of paper out and now we're going to turn it into a square so we can make an actual cootie catcher out of it. All right, so I'm going to tilt this down here like this so that you can see my work. In order to make your paper into a square, um, you're going to have to, and a lot of you know how to do this already, so I'm just going to, um, for the benefit of those of you who don't, if you fold it over right to the corner and have the edges matched up and you get a nice, it's not quite even here, um, you get a nice diagonal fold like this. All right, so now you've got it, it's kind of, you can see it on this side maybe a little bit better. All right, we're gonna cut this part here off. Now I do it by just creasing and tearing very gently along the crease fold, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with the scissors, okay? Okay, so now you can see right, you're just gonna cut right along this edge here and in this case, the holes don't really matter. We'll just um, leave the holes in it. It gives it a little bit of character. Shows you that you're doing it with school paper. All right, take this, get rid of it. Now you've got a nice diagonal fold already. Now you're gonna fold in the opposite direction. This is classic origami stuff. We do this all the time. You fold in all directions, right? So now you've got an X fold, and now you're going to do a cross fold. In both directions. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got the whole star shape fold thing going on here. All right, so the next step is you've got it all flat, but you've got all these nice folds. Now you're going to start folding things up from the corners. You're going to fold each corner in to the middle. All of these folds that we've done will be useful later. Okay. I'm going to do that, and then we're going to go in, we're going to fold in again. So we've got these four folds like this, and now we're going to fold in from the outside. Well, let's see, I think we do it from this side, that's it. We flip it over, yeah, I'm learning as I go too, um, and fold into the corners, into the center, from the opposite side. Just like that. All the way around like that. Okay, so now you've got this and this. You get this on one side, and this on the other side. Now you're going to, let's see, is it this way? Crease it 
and crease it again like this and keep folding it back and forth like this so that your creases are nice and sharp in the middle and then all right here's the magic moment you've got the side with all the little flaps on it if you wanted to put, if you wanted to make this into a fortune teller, you know, like with the numbers and the letters and that sort of thing, you would have done that before this point. But we're just making a cootie catcher. So now you've got this kind of funny little shape that I've just squeezed into the middle on those creases. Pull all of these out. There we go. And now you've got your cootie catcher. Ta-da! All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can all make cootie catchers. Get those cooties out of the air so we can open the state back up and do all our fun things again and um, make these cootie catchers work for you, right? Love you guys. So miss you. Um, so miss doing all this kind of stuff in the classroom with you. Wish we could be doing this um, all the time, but Oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll see each other in August and we'll be able to do all of these things in person, but I am looking forward to seeing your finished cootie, cootie catchers when you're all done. Talk to you later.